Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight Beer is one of the oldest recorded recipes on earth, dating back nearly 5,000 years. Throughout history, the ingredients have essentially remained the same, crushed or malted grain, steeped and heated slowly in water. And in America today, beer has never been more popular. With the state of California continuing to lead the craft brewery revolution. Devil's Canyon Brewery, just a stone's throw from the cool waters and steep hills of San Francisco, with a near two decades long history of tinkering their take on the golden brew, has moved beyond an environmentally conscious approach to just what goes into their beer to how it's made. At the beginning of our company, we've operated under three principles. One was we need to be stewards of our community and our environment. And then we also need to run our business in a fiscally responsible way. Obviously, we're looking at all angles in our business to find the best way to save money. So when you have all those three components, you need to balance those. And thanks to the power of the sun and a unique funding mechanism for their solar array out back, it's a tasty proposition for their future. walking through our parking lot one day and our next door neighbors, great people, were talking to him and I said, hey, what do you guys got going on with your solar stuff? And he's like, oh, well, we, we install that. We can do that. And I said, really? What we've done is we've offered to own the solar ourselves and sell the power to them at an agreed price. Who uses a lot of energy? Breweries. They happen to be our neighbor. We know they use a lot of energy. They had some room. So we've been in talks with them for a while. This project took a couple years to develop. Normally we kind of come in with an, a scope, um, a part of a part of a project. But when you're developing your own, I guess, solar projects, instead of just putting together solar, this was a, a cohesive package. You have to be willing to look and act like a different kind of contractor. You're not just an electrical contract anymore. You become an energy provider. In order to become an energy provider, you also have to learn how to develop. You know, we want to be able to distinguish ourselves from all the other competition that's out there. And to the way to do that is to really be a resource and a trusted partner for your customer. And each project is different, and each project requires a different solution. And when you can come to them and say, hey, Mr. Customer, hey, Mrs. Customer, I can help you not only build this project, but I can help you finance this project. I can help you develop this project. It's really a, a great way of building that trust, building that relationship for long-term you know, growth for both yourself and for that customer. Stepping outside the normal role of an electrical contractor, but it's also making you different than most electrical contractors. Working with solar is a whole different ball game of being dangerous because when the sun's out, you have potential at all times. So we always have our meetings and talk about the dangers of the part of the job we're at to discuss and make sure that everybody's safe. It was very exciting to develop a project with them. We just really wanted to make them happy because, you know, they want to come back here and give them a bad project and hear about it every time I try to enjoy a beer. I love beer. Full bore Scotch Ale, all the way. It's one of my favorites. I love to see the local business to thrive and you know grow. And the owner here, Chris, he's a swell guy. He's he's pretty cool and takes care of everybody that he meets. So Garnett says their bill from PG&E is high, really high. Now we're generating steam and we're cooling tanks and we have big walk-in coolers for cases and pallets of beer. So our consumption is significant. And by taking this 110% provided by the sun, now we can offset quite a bit of that. It's 
pretty incredible. Nika has specifically worked with a development and funding mechanism that'll help contractors uh, push through this process without having to reinvent the wheel. Uh, and I think that's smart. Four or five years we've been doing this now, we've noticed that we're much less of a platform and much more of a service um, in the sense that we're not, you know, sort of saying, hey, here's some, here's a database online of resources. We're actually working hand in hand, um, side by side with the contractors and how to approach these things, which is why we are redeveloping the ECAP name and rebranding to the project development platform. Ultimately, NECA project development allows NECA contractors and their partners to offer their customers more than they may have otherwise or that they may have the resources to offer. The long-term plan is to have passive income that will sustain this company in good times and bad. We found doing a purchase power agreement was almost an easier sell because it is no money out of their pocket. They generally get site improvements along with it, new asphalt, striping, fence in this case. We'll differentiate them as an electrical contractor as opposed to the rank and file guys out there who are just coming in saying, this is what you want, this is how much it's going to cost, and that's that. I would like other electrical contractors to take the leap of faith and try something new because it is going to help sustain us in the industry. And we're not isolating ourselves from a segment that's growing without us. We're recognizing me means and methods and ways to build our own projects instead of chasing a project. For the IBEW members and for NECA contractor Intermountain Electric in charge of the installation, it's a success story that is told through each and every pint and can of beer made here by Devil's Canyon. Working with Intermountain, the level of professionalism is well beyond most contractors we've worked with, primarily because they work with the IBEW. They bring in skilled technicians and people that know what they're doing. So the projects are done as stated and on time. And you, you just can't pay for that. I mean, that's awesome. That's all for this edition. From South San Francisco for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Geritano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.